Hello everybody, in this video we will talk about 8 ways how to purchase eBay accounts on the right way and how to do it smart so we will not have any troubles with these accounts in the future. So as all of you know, when we grow with our eBay dropshipping businesses we will always want to uh, get more eBay accounts to extend our business, to grow, to have more products, more niches and to have the opportunity to duplicate our accounts and get more sales on this way. But how to do it right, how to do it without uh, getting suspended or without fall on a wrong account, this is what I will show you in this video. I am your Posin, I am owner and CEO of AutoDS, so the method number one and the thing number one which you need to, ch to check is trust. So this is something which is easy to say, but how, how we check this, how we check that we really trust the other person, the person who sell us the, uh, their eBay account. So I would ask the other uh, person, the seller, few questions. Questions like, will you help me if I have any problems with the current returns which you have on your account? Will you answer me if I need any verification or if I need any help from you in the next one or two months with this eBay account? So this is the questions which I would ask him and I would check what would be the answer. I will check if the person is really honest, if he really answer and if he really will help me in the future, if I will have any trouble, so I want to be sure that he will really help me with this. So this is the third thing, this is actually the most important thing and the thing which is the hardest to check if the other guy is really uh, trustful or not. The, sec the second thing which I want to check is the feedbacks. The feedbacks of the account, this is something very, very basic, but I still want to cover it on this video. I will check if the account has more than 99% of positive feedbacks. It's not critical if, it, if it's not 100% of positive feedbacks, because we always can pay to someone to remove these feedbacks or try to uh, call eBay by ourselves and cancel the feedbacks. Or we also can keep these feedbacks, because 99% or 90 8% even of uh, positive feedbacks, it's fine, so we don't always need 100%. But we still want to read the feedbacks and check how the seller uh, works with the buyers, and this way we can also get some pr perspective about the seller and know if he is trustful and if the account is fine and how the seller works with this account. The third thing is that we will go to the seller dashboard and we will check if the account is not below standard right now, what is the position of the account, what is the number, the percent of the returns, the percent of the default rate. We will check all the things because we really want to be sure that the account is fine. And not only for the current situation, we will also check what will be the next evaluation of eBay. We can see it on the seller dashboard what's going on and what, what is the percent of the defects and the returns right now. So then we know that the account will not go to below standard on the next month. The thing number four, I will go to the uh, cases and the returns right now and I will check how the seller worked with the, this account on the last period of time. Because many sellers just decided that they quit eBay, they stopped selling on eBay and then they, they stopped working on their account and then their account will go down. So I don't want to buy account which the seller on the last time didn't work properly on this account. I want to be sure that until the last moment, until now, he really worked on the account and really did everything which needed. If the account has right now a lot of cancellations, a lot of cases and a lot of returns which are waiting for a long period of time, I will not buy this account because it's too dangerous. So this is the thing number four. The thing number four is that you should check the revenue right now. You want to be sure that this account wasn't uh, like without any work and that nobody worked on, on this account on the last period of time. Because sometimes you will see that the revenue was very fine like two months ago, but now the seller didn't sell anything there. That, so this account is dead and you don't want to start with account which nobody worked with the, the account on the last uh, period of time because it will be much harder for you to make this account alive again. If someone uh, put the account on vacation or something like this, this is not very good for us. We prefer to buy account which worked for a longer period of time 
uh, in, a, in a, like always open this account. If this is not the situation, it's also fine that you need to decrease the price a bit and ask for the seller for a discount for this because this account is a bit dead and you want to uh, you don't want to pay a lot for account like this, so you can request a discount. So actually, accounts like this, it's still possible to buy them, but uh, you should get a discount for accounts that didn't work in the last period of time. The thing number. Uh, I think we are now on seven. Uh, so we want to check if this account didn't have any connected other accounts. That the seller don't have other accounts with the same name and same address uh, like the account that they sell to you. Because if they have, so maybe they will sell the account, the other accounts to other people who will make mistakes with this account and then you will also be suspended and blocked from eBay. So you want to be sure that the seller didn't have any other eBay account with the same details. So this way you, you can be sure that you will be fine and the account will not be suspended because someone else's mistake. The last thing is that check that the PayPal of this account also didn't have any uh, other connected accounts because eBay can connect these accounts so actually it's the same as the previous thing which I said, just be sure that the PayPal also didn't have, just as the seller about this. Usually if you check the first thing which I said, that the seller is trustful, so they will tell you the truth. I hope that you like this video. I really wish you a, a good luck with purchasing more and more accounts because in the beginning it's harder, but then it becomes easier and easier and then you can just grow and grow and grow like other clients which we have that have more than 100 accounts or just tens of accounts. So I really, in, uh, I really wish you to enjoy this uh, process and a lot of good luck. See you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this video and to, make, to leave a comment with any question that you have about purchasing other eBay accounts or in general about dropshipping. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.